I'm called Mumba Mungu James. I stay with my uncle, my auntie, and this is my brother. I came into Uganda from DRC cause of the war, which was tough in our country. And I came with my two brothers. My parents were remained there at the beginning of the it found me at school. FDLA labels could come at our press, destroyed our properties and destroyed our cows. Could sometimes ask for money. Young boys and young girls could be adopted, trained and force them to be in their reverence. And we could sometimes sleep at, in the bushes. My name is Muganeza Divin, a 17 years old, a refugee from Democratic Republic of Congo, staying in Base Camp 3, Kamwanza Refugee Settlement, since 2013, where we are migrated from our country. I was born in DRC in 2002, in a place called Masisi, where I experienced many hardships. One day, the rebels attacked our village, immediately migrated to the neighboring areas. During that time, they burnt our house and slaughtered our cows, even killed our uncle who was keeping the animals. We felt sad, but we had to keep life going. That night, we had to, to free the home and sleep in the nearby Seventh-day Adventist church. When the war occurred in DLC, we were at the school, and then we had no chance of going back for the parents. We came directly to the border. From there, we got the good Samaritans, and they helped us. And from there, they took us in Kisoro. There in Kisoro, they cared for us. After they sent, they sent us in Rwamwanja settlement. And when I reached here, I was with my friends. Because I, I left my parents in DRC, I had nothing to do. From there, my friends could marry, but me, I never had that idea of marrying, I said that I must continue with my education. My name is Umhiro Julius. Um, I've been a project manager for RIP, that is Refugee Education Access Project. We found a challenge with students who are refugees here at the school who had the challenge of speaking English because back in their, in their home country they were speaking French. So we came up with this project which is funded by LDS that is Letter Day Saints, and implemented by ADRA. Uh, ADRA has done a unique thing of paying salaries for teachers. So far the teachers of French and English, we have two, one French and one English, all those are being paid for and sponsored by ADRA. Vince. Le titre de ce texte, c'est pour toi mon amour. Alors? Pour toi mon amour. Je suis allé au marché aux oiseaux et j'ai acheté des oiseaux pour toi, mon amour. This is my school, Rwamwanja Senior Secondary School. Uh, I came to it after finishing my primary seven, 17 aggregates. Joining a level, it was very hard, but due to God, God is mass, I tried and I joined the A level. Language was very stressful to us since we were studying in French while here in Uganda they studied in free English. I could hear locals speaking and I could not pick anything. We didn't have teachers to interpret French to English. Many times I'd feel like leaving a school, but I was encouraged by my parents to continue studying and they used to show me the importance of education in the future. I thank ADRA 
for introducing French in our school. I was not fluent, but I thank God when I reached in secondary at Rwamanja Senior Secondary School, Adra support teachers and English support teachers of English and the French that they could translate in French to English that made us to learn English. I thank God. And I learned as well that there were missions for the students to go and have a proficiency test, uh, you know, a uh, imbibition on French and English in Embarara, as well as in Fort Portal for the agriculture. These two kinds of mission actually will open, eye, open up the eyes of the students on what are the opportunities on them with the assistance of ADRA. This one is a big boost again. So I can really list a number of things that ADRA did a very good example that other partners can emulate with. About the dormitory, I sank ADRA because I was a day scholar for, for two years. But after ADRA coming in, the dome which was having, which was not enough, when he constructed the domes, I might we the school reduced on the cost of, on the fees and again we have a good stay because these buildings are standard ones. Because if I see around in our district first of all, our school is better because there is no any other school which is having the dormitories like this school. There was also a problem with diet because they were only taking posho, posho and beans, posho and beans. So that's why we came up with a school, opening up a school garden where we've been able to open four acres of gardens whereby we had been able to plant many veg types of vegetables. We ha now currently we have a four acre banana plantation. At least it has been able to help on those students on having to change on the diet because we had sukuma wake, we had uh, sweet potatoes and which has helped at least to change on their diet and which we can say it has been a success. On top of that, ADRA supported us by providing some, by providing some food nutrients like cassava. Previously we, have, we had uh, we had sweet potatoes here and uh, the eggplants, they contribute on our diet so much. So far for me, I have got those skills and in our community, we have started to practice them like banana plantation. I have planted like one hectare and we have started to harvest some of them at home. They are there, yeah. As a result of the skills I have got, that's why I've managed to do so at home. Right now we are at the girls wing dormitory where we constructed an incinerator which could help in burning the, oh, the girls pads and so for hygiene. In the background you can see the incinerator which we constructed as ADRA with help from, from late day sense, that's LDS. So we, ha we appreciate LDS for the support, for everything which we've done at Rwamanja Senior Secondary School. There has been installation of a 1,000 litre tank on the address on the Adra buildings. That, litre, that 1,000 litre tank, uh, which is plastic, it has a steady harvesting water. So far, water is not a big problem. Despite of this area being dry and scarce of water, but at least we have got some enough water from that Adra tank that has been put in forward in the school. When I reached here, uh, there was no counseling room. In fact, we had another partner. We had another partner in Finn Church Aid. We used to take these students who had issues and sit under the trees. That's an open place. So, and in an open place, there's no how you could ensure confidentiality. Because people, they knew that we are counselors. So, by the time you, they see you all sitting on the trees, so that the other students may question themselves, oh, why are they under the trees? Uh, also, we want maybe to introduce that we have been able to make a counseling room. The headmaster's, deputy headmaster's office, the, the doses office, 
and specifically for, for the counseling room because they have never had any counseling room. So I can list a lot of numbers or things that uh, Aja has been doing and uh, one thing I think that the government of Uganda, Uganda as well as UNHCR for that matter is very appreciative of what Aja is doing in Romania settlement.